we're back with another update. It's really rough. I feel like my voice is going to be like, ugh. We're driving through Albuquerque, New Mexico right now. We stayed the night about 15, about 15 miles outside of Albuquerque at an RV park. Now, we were planning on boondocking our way to Oklahoma, but it proved to be not so easy once we got to New Mexico. We knew coming in that masks were going to be required. However, I think some um, things changed as of July 1st. We had a list of state parks that we were planning on staying at as a possibility. Um, we did check before we left home. They were open, but I did not make reservations. Like I said, we don't like to make reservations because we never know if we're going to make it that far that day. Um, but checking yesterday, all state parks in New Mexico are closed until July 31st. Masks are required everywhere you go. Um, so we were having a hard time finding places to stay. There is boondocking sites available if you go to the Cibola National Forest. Okay. There's the Gila National okay. Forest too. Go ahead. Those ones are a little, little too far off the 40. So you can boondock. But we decided it was a little too far out of the way to do it. Yeah, we didn't want to get too far off of our route. Um, there was a place that we wanted to camp at last night. It was a dispersed camping spot. It was called, I think it was called Joe's Steam Dispersed Campsite. It was inside the El Malpais National Monument. It's really cool driving out there. We got off of the 40 and I think we took Highway 17. And it's near all of this volcanic rock. There was, a, however, once we got to the campsite, even though it is public land and dispersed camping, there was a sign up that said camp get ground closed. So we decided to turn around, follow the rules, and come back and try to find something else. Um, we also looked at several casino parking lots and thought maybe we could do an RV park at a casino. Those were all closed. We did stay at a really cool RV park last year. It was probably one of our favorites of our whole trip last year, the Route 66 Casino, Hotel, and RV Park. So I looked that up and it said they were closed. So we were just planning on pulling up into a Walmart parking lot and just staying in Walmart for the night. But as we drove past Route 66, RV park, their sign said now open. So we drove up to see if we could stay and we could. They were only at 50% capacity, which there was still plenty of room. Um, but the one downside is the pool was closed. So we did not get to use their awesome swimming pool this year. I have a picture from the kids swimming in it last year though. Um, so we stayed there for the night. It's super clean. It's still one of our favorite RV, RV parks. Um, the bathrooms, we, we like to use the full-size showers and their bathrooms there rather than our tiny bathroom and they are spotless. I give them a 10. Is that still your favorite RV park that no, we've stayed at? super clean. Yeah. They have everything. They've got a gym, they got the pool table, ping pong. Yep, they had a game room. The game room was open. Um, they limited it to 12 people inside at a time. We still had to wear a mask inside. We didn't use that, but they also have like a volleyball court there. Tennis court. They had tennis courts there. Um, yeah, and the inside of the little game room, it's huge. It's super clean, nice. We love it. We definitely recommend it, and we will recommend it even more once that swimming pool's open, because the swimming pool there is everything, at least to the kids it is. So we stayed there for the night, did our laundry, and now we're on the road again. I think we're going to try and get out of New Mexico. Originally, we were planning on staying in New Mexico for two nights, but eh, it's a little bit difficult. So we're going to head to Texas tonight and we'll probably stay two nights in Texas before rolling into Oklahoma on Thursday. So that's it for now. We will check back in once we figure out where we're staying tonight. See you later.